Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Fire and Fishing and today we're going to be talking about how and why I installed the new Pro Products VT2 system in my boat. I recently got in touch with the people over at NewPro Products and they were kind enough to send me over the VT2 system to use in my project. I'm sure many of you have seen this before, but what the VT2 system does is it allows fresh air to enter the live well and releases all the heat and gases that build up inside. This is going to take a lot of stress off the fish and help keep them alive. A lot of you guys know that I do plan on doing some jumbo tournaments, so something like this is very, very important to me. Especially since down here in Georgia it gets so hot during the summer, so releasing all that heat that builds up in here is a big plus for me. These retail around $45 and you can get them in either black or white. I decided to go with the black simply because it's gonna match the latches that I'm gonna be using on my hatches. So there's also a few other things that are pretty cool about this aside from uh, keeping the fish alive is this plastic up top is very flexible. So when you stand on it, it's not gonna break or crack or chip. It's just gonna bend to wherever the pressure is applied. On the website, they talk about how this is universally adaptable to any live well. And with me having like a completely custom boat, uh, this is very good proof of that. You just have to cut a hole into your hatch door and it just fits down in there. There's no wires, there's nothing else to do with it. This is just one of those things that like, when I see it in somebody's boat, I know that they're literally doing everything they possibly can to return these fish back to the water as healthy as they came out. And that's probably the most important part of it to me. So let me go ahead and show you guys how I installed these. I started out by finding the center of my hatch. Next I used a three inch bimetal hole saw and cut the hole at the center point of my hatch. Next I fitted the system in the position I wanted it to be and drilled its holes using a 964 drill bit. Once that was done, I watered sealed the wood in the hole and then carpeted the hatch. Once everything was dry, I used a razor blade to cut out the hole in the carpet. I used the needles once again to find the holes that were covered up by the carpet. This is the same thing that I did for the holes on attaching the deck. Next I fit the VT2 system into place. Added some silicone for waterproofing in the holes and then just drilled in the screws. I flipped it over, added the washer, the nut, and tightened everything down. And it was good to go. Huge shout out over to the people at New Pro Products for sending me these. Uh, I'm very honored to have them on my boat and uh, I'm very excited to see how they'll work out for me during my tournaments. If you guys are interested in checking these out, make sure to go check out newproproducts.com. I will leave a link in the description. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them in the comment section down below. And don't forget to subscribe for future content. Thanks for watching.